Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I'm onto the second sleeve on this little cardigan. And I've managed to find the right place to start it like I did on this one. You see the little brown bit at the, the bottom and then you go on to the, um, the cream and then it'll go on to the grey. I've managed to to find the right spot. I did have to look at this bit here where I started the pattern off I started the sleeve off and I had to look at all the little spots you see all the different colours and these little spots here tell me where where I started and that was where the brown you see there's a little bit brown there and those two little dots there that was where the brown finished and the the cream started so I looked for that on the ball I found that and I cut a little bit off I think it was that bit there, I cut that bit of cream off until I got to where those two little dots were there. And that's where I've got it on the piece that I'm knitting. There's the two little dots that I just showed you on there. And that brought me to the right place to start the, um, the sleeve so that the stripes were going to match on both sleeves. I just do not like those ones. I know this wool is supposed to be just knitted as is. But I think they just look so untidy if you just knit them and not try to match them uh, up. I have seen some, I've actually knitted them like that myself when I first started knitting with this sort of wool quite some time ago. And I do not like what they look like. So that's what I do every time now. I try to find the um, the correct place for the... It's only the fronts that you need to match and the sleeves because the back, it doesn't make any difference. You know, you can only do the back because of the back being wider. The stripes are narrower or not. So they're going to be different on the front and the sleeves anyway. But at least I like the two fronts to match and the two sleeves to match. They don't match the back, but... <laughs> And I have a cup of tea here. Had to put my cup of tea on the um, the floor so I could pull my coffee table forward. When I use, I'm, I'm on my tablet at the moment because it's much better quality videos on the um, the tablet than it is on my um, computer. Only when I have the tablet, I can't change the settings at how far. You know forward or back it is when you're doing um i have to use the the forward the forward camera and you just can't change the settings to how close you can be so i'm too set too far back so i thought the best thing to do was to pull my coffee table forward so you don't see a lot of things that i don't want you to see like all of my settee and you can see, you know, one or two things. My sweet tin is empty at the moment. I forgot to get myself some sweets, but I do have a lot of those other ones that um, Helen sent me. I'll have to put some of them in the tin. <laughs> I do like some sweets. I only eat one or two of a night time, just when I'm sitting watching whatever I'm watching on my computer and sitting there. I like the sweet now and again, but I'm having a cup of my tea before it gets cold because... I know what I'm like. Oh no, my phone. <laughs> Keep phone keeps dinging. <laughs> I know what I'm like when I start talking because I can't talk and my cup of tea usually ends up cold. <laughs> so like I'm saying, I found the right place to start that sleeve with and I have the all the pieces here now. The back two fronts which I showed you the other day put my chin on there to keep it up and I now have one sleeve done there one sleeve done there 
and then this year I'll be taking that down my granddaughter's today so I'll get a little bit of that done while I'm down there but I'm doing what I can of this before I go down there and just for people that's doing these sort of things if you want to match up you know like this you do have to cut bits of wool off to match them up but they're not wasted because I'm sure you I have that is what I have that was quite a large bit that I had to cut off um, I think that was on the the front on the no it wasn't the front it was the first sleeve I had to take that off the first sleeve and then there was these little bits I've had to cut off oh that's off my sweater that bit there <laughs> these little bits but I'll be doing a, a little hat but this is quite a large bit so you don't need to worry about matching when you're doing the neck and the bands on a cardigan so I use these larger bits that'll do for the neck band and any that's left over I've got a little hat to do so I'll just use these little bits to wind up for the pom-pom on the um, the hat but even if you don't have a, um, a hat you can work these these little bits in that you you cut off you know that you have to cut off even for, maybe it's the bands down the front I might get the um, the neck band and there's a little bit left I'll probably do one of the bands maybe it's part of it I might have to join the um, the ball on in the in the middle to finish the band but you don't waste these little bits well I don't anyway <laughs> do come in handy for other things and that's what I'll always do when um, I do those sort of things but like I'm saying I'll be going down my granddaughter's um, pretty soon it's almost 25 to 1 now and I usually leave about 2 o'clock so I'll try and get this video sorted and get it up on my channel before I go down and I'll be going down to have a look and see what else my granddaughter has been doing because she makes she has her own channel and she does those like earrings and she's been using that polymer clay stuff to um to make earrings and things like that at the moment she usually uses a lot of resin but she has to go into the shed in a um, in a garden for to do the well, something to do with the um, the resin because she can't do it inside the the house for the fumes of it and that and it's very cold. She has a little heater in the um, the thing, but she it's not really that warm, you know. So she prefers doing the polymer clay because she can do it inside the house. <laughs> and if you want to have a look at what she does. Because she does show, she's got one or two videos up where she's shown how she works this polymer uh, clay. I'll put a link to her channel in the um, the description box. So have a look and see what she's been up to. And you might even like what she does. It's nothing to do with knitting or thing. It's all to do with this earrings. And she makes, um, she makes other things out of them as well like um, key ring things and other sort of things like that but mostly earrings that's what she does but she does other things with material like makes scr scrunchies and things like that um, that she sells on her Etsy shop but um, I'll, like I'm saying I'll put the, the, her channel link in the description box where you can take a look at what she's getting up to and that and I don't know anybody have noticed with these knitting needles um, Michelle did see something you know Michelle who's um, all your knitters love she mentioned about her needles about the colour coming off these needles I don't know if you can see on here I'm trying to get them as close as close as I can so yeah you can see a little bit where the colour is wearing off and I don't think it's actually a fault or anything with the needles. I think it's when you're knitting and your, your needle's going in like that into stitches and it's rubbing because it's only on that little bit just below the tip where the needle rubs against each other when you go in through the thing. And I think that's why the colour is coming off because there's nothing wrong with the whole rest of the, um, 
the needles they are still all the colour still there no trouble at all and I think that's all it is I think it's the the needles rubbing as you go through like as I go through some stitch here I'm putting the needle through it rubs against the the other needle and I think that's what's happening with these needles because I do have some ordinary grey ones who the same thing happens to the points on those ones as well where the um, the grey stuff that they coat it with rubbing against each other the needles as you're knitting it just seems to be near the tips it happens with those ones as well because it has happened to one or two pairs I have not my very old needles I have a lot of the grey ones I've had for over 50 years and it's never happened to any of those ones it just seems to be the ones nowadays <laughs> So I'm just doing something different to the um, the needles, I think. And just in case anyone asks, no, I did not knit this sweater I am wearing. <laughs> I do have one or two sweaters that I have bought. I haven't knit every single sweater I have, because quite a few times I have this this one and a, another, a couple of other ones I've worn now and again, and... I'm always asked if I knit it. <laughs> I could knit something like this, but I don't have time. <laughs> so it's just in case anyone asks, because I'm sick of having to put a comment, you know, and see if people know I didn't knit this but I bought it. <laughs> so anyway, that's my bit for today. So thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.